when I open, I score. Play basketball, they're just as simple as they can, you know. He is totally controlling this game right now. Backs up for the win! Yes! I don't run high, I don't run too fast, I just play basketball. The Denver Nuggets can finally call themselves NBA champions! They believe in the fat boy, and it seems like uh, it worked out. Done that against the fat boy. I just play video games and I drink coke. That was my life. They didn't know what to do with me. When I first started playing basketball back home in Serbia, in Belgrade, I really couldn't do a push-up. Literally, he couldn't do a push-up, he couldn't do... Yeah, and I, I was afraid that uh, older guys were going to hurt him. And then I kind of started working out, working out, working out. And then when we, when we figured out that he was literally practicing three or four times per week, so he did, didn't even practice once per day. Then I came here, I drink the last school on the airplane coming to the America. Maybe one year ago, Nobody really knew who you were. We kind of saw you come out of nowhere. When did you start first start playing basketball? Uh, how? You know, for real, for real, I started last like, last year. You know, I didn't like college basketball. It's so fast. It's so uh, everybody jumps so high. I don't jump. You know? right. I just play basketball. Like you know. One on one, two on two, something like that. I don't jump, I don't jump uh, high, I don't run too fast, so. You know, when you're a kid and you're small, uh, you always want to be around with the big brothers, and uh, I was more happy to be around them than being in NBA. With the 41st pick in the 2014 NBA draft, the Denver Nuggets select. He's great, he's great, he's great. Unfortunately, <laughs> in the world we live in, he's going to be judged by what he, him and his team does in the playoffs. Can you see a championship? The Denver Nuggets. The team that we got, I think we have opportunity, you know. We have a system, we have a build, we have a path, we have a team. I think we can we can we can do something, you know. For a young man to say, I can put our team on my back and I'm gonna take us to the promised land. Jokic, right back to Gordon! I can impact my team. If I'm a grassroots, they're gonna be more confident in themselves. It's only strengthened my belief that he is a future Hall of Famer. You got a 7-1 center, bringing up the ball, initiating the offense. Everything goes through him. Here comes the reigning two-time MVP, fades and sticks it again. When you're defending him, you're worried about everything. Worried about him scoring, worried about him getting to his bag. Then you're worried about him, like, you got to guard him so he doesn't, can't make those plays to his teammates. He's definitely a tough guard because he, he could do a lot of things, you know. Murray's got it under the Jokic. Put it up. Yeah! to the Western Semis. The Denver Nuggets select Nikola Jokic from Sombra, Serbia. They say that I'm drafted, uh, I was sleeping before. I never thought it, it was a big thing. My first year, my second year, I was like, oh, like rushing, everything was sprinting. And then I figured out just by experience, I can find the shortcuts and just playing in my pace. When I open, I score. When I, uh, I pass, you know, play basketball, they just uh, play simple. Simple as I can, you know. My first couple of years, I had a really good chemistry with Gary Harris, if you guys remember, and then kind of slowly build up to, to Jamal. We came off the bench together, and then we started doing the hit the post, I cut, and he threw it over his head, and that would always make the highlight. During my second season, it was really, I think, a pivotal moment in, in franchise history when we inserted Nicola back into the starting lineup as a center to exploit all the skill level that he has. Alley oop, that's too hot. Oh, stop! I think he's the most underrated player probably in the NBA. Yeah, we both like uh, Jokic. Uh, big man is back. Jokic is a big guy that can do it all. Right? Jokic, left hand, yes, and a foul on Gasol. The Denver Nuggets taking on the Phoenix Suns in what promises to be must-see television. I'll take the Suns. I'm going with the Suns as well. They just added the best player in the game in Kevin Durant. Am, am I surprised about the Nuggets? Hell no, they're number one seed for a reason. They got a two-time MVP. I hate when he makes shots because he's so unorthodox and it's like, oh yeah, that's a miss, and then it goes straight in. He just played a game at a, at a pace that you can't speed him up. You know, fluster him, he's strong, he can make every shot. Nikola Jokic is the best player in the world right now. Contact, and he's headed to the free throw line. Right now, he's the best player in the world. Game four loss to the Phoenix Suns, 53 points and 11 assists. Jokic bangs into Booker, flicks it up, and it goes. <laughs> Follows that up with a 29-point triple-double. Jokic, he is pure basketball poetry.
The thing I like about his triple doubles too, it ain't like 11, 11, and 10. Yeah, exactly. You know, he is really putting in numbers. Follows that up with a 32 point triple with a double. Jokic kept alive, got the offensive rebound and the stick back. He is totally controlling this game right now. We better start appreciating the greatness that we're watching from Nikola yeah. Jokic right yeah. now. To watch this greatness consistently is incredible. Just kept the ball, never panicked after he stopped the dribble and made the defense look foolish. We were so focused, we every detail, everybody was so locked in, and then I'm so proud of the guys. The Denver Nuggets are moving on to the conference finals for the second time in four years. You passed Will Chamberlain tonight, most triple doubles by a center. Thank you. There you go. Wow. Is Shaq in that, is it Shaq in that list? <laughs> no. no, because I never passed, big honey. <laughs> An overtime loss on the last night of the regular season kept him out of the playoffs. They have rebounded this year with the fourth best record in the NBA. Here it goes! Got it! Got it! And the Joker is a first-time All-Star in his fourth NBA season. Jokic! Put it up! I'm trying to be aggressive. I think that can help me and my teammates. I can put a lot of pressure on myself so they can have a lot of space to play. There are about five players that average over 13 points. Six players in double digits. Everyone's doing work. We don't have many superstars. Everybody's working to get to where, where they at. Gobert stays on his feet. Tough shot! Made it! Jokic giving Denver a two-point lead. I don't know how we do it, but we are just kind of not accepting that someone is better than us. We don't have pressure. I think the whole pressure is on them. We just go out there and have fun. Hoist an off ballast jumper. Oh! It finds net! I always say effort needs to be on a high level. Have fun and give your all best. Shot clock winding down. Murray puts up a three. Bang! Jamal Murray from downtown! As the Denver Nuggets are going back to the Western Conference Finals. That's something that's going to be our mentality in the next years. Don't quit. Keep fighting effort and uh, just give yourself a chance to win the game. The Lakers and the Nuggets game one of the Western Conference Finals. I like the Lakers for tonight. I like the Lakers in the series. Just gets it off in time. It's up. Oh, it's good. Of course it goes in. They don't have an answer for Anthony Davis or LeBron James. To put it up. I on three. Oh, he knocks it down. Stepping backwards. And then in game one against the Lakers has a 34, 21, and 14 point triple double. First player ever with 30 point triple doubles and 70% shooting in consecutive games in NBA history. You know what I mean? When, when the MVP goes out and puts up a triple double, that means he's impacting the game at a high level across the board. Right now, 29, 13, and 10, 54 percent shooting for the field, 47 percent shooting from three point range at a big. He's an elite passer. He's an elite scorer. He's got an elite touch, and he's doing things that only people like Will Chamberlain has done. Got eight triple doubles this postseason. Jokic just broke a record that has been held for 56 years, most triple doubles in a single postseason. Jokic has to put it up. Falling away, puts it up. Bang! Nikola Jokic! What a shot! You know what? I'm going to think that's my signature shot. And then... <laughs> Goes inside, stop, shot, lock, gets it back. It's over! It's over! Denver makes history. The Nuggets are going to the NBA Finals for the first time in franchise history. I think that just shows how hard it is to get here. We made the history, okay, but I think we are not satisfied. We want something more. Jokic, a chance to tie it. Oh, Jokic hits it. <laughs> to be honest, I'm playing the same way um, since my days in, in, in Sombra, I think. so. To be honest, I'm playing, I always say I'm playing this way since I'm since I started playing basketball. Maybe I upgrade a little bit, uh, but I didn't change my, my style of play since day one, so I, it's working. So we're playing Utah. Gobert goes, uh, no, I got him, I got him, I got him. So Yoke has the ball, he goes, brother, I have 47. <laughs> <laughs> so he has tied his career high with 47 points. Speed and quickness are overrated. I'll, I'll take skill <laughs> and just amazing basketball IQ. I mean, Nikola Jokic can do everything. And on bar. And he's got it! 50 points! I'm just trying to, to win games, you know, so if it's on practices, games, real games, I just want to be a winner. Nikola has dedicated himself to improving his body, 
coming back in great shape, getting stronger, he can improve. I like to play slow, I like to play to see what's going to happen on the floor. Every game needs to be a learning experience, you know, and sometimes when we need a bucket, I just need to go aggressive, you know. And he's driven by that, he's not satisfied. Touchdown! He wants to continue to be a great player and to be the best center in the world. My coach that uh, coached me back home in Serbia always told me, assist makes uh, two people happy, point, to just make more people happy. So, <laughs> happy, oh, so. Behind the back! Felipe was the first guy who told me that I'm going to win MVP. Before the first MVP, I told him he was going to be MVP. He never believed. Nikola Jokic is this year's key most valuable player. Congratulations, Nikola. The Nuggets will play their first ever NBA Finals game against the Miami Heat. To be honest, I felt a little excitement, but when the game I started, it was just a normal game. I told them, like, I just cannot wait the game to start, just to feel normal, you know. Jokic, here comes the double team, spins away, finds Brown wide open. Bruce Brown from downtown. You said he's the most decisive basketball player you've ever seen. Everything he does is purposeful. Jokic hadn't really even gone into anything remotely resembling scoring mode. Perfectly willing and content to just take what's there. I still don't believe it that I can be effective. You know, for me, still every game is a, is a fight. That's why I like my my teammates and coach. They really trust me, and uh, with the trust that we have in the relationship, I think it's really good. It will really help us help us win games. Here comes Jokic, bringing it up the floor, going coast to coast layup. It's good off the glass. Nikola Jokic, a scoring machine. I, I don't decide. It's just I just take what the game brings me. You know, I never I never chase scoring or whatever I just I just play the game and see what's gonna happen not only is he the best player in the game he's the most versatile player in the game four to shoot Jokic falling away puts it in no Jamal Murray no Michael Porter Jr. for most of the season and yet Jokic his game is speaking volumes his stats whether it's the traditional stats or especially the advanced stats are at or near historic levels your numbers this year are actually better than your numbers last year. Yeah, same, I'm doing a good, a good job, right? How do you do that? I think this is my best season of my life and the best basketball of my life, and the team is playing good, which is the most important thing. He don't want to talk about no accolades of himself. He's, he's all about winning in the team. I always think someone is better than me. You know, I want to compete to be him. I'm going to be underdog always in my, in my position, you know? So that's going to make me play harder. Shoot, Jokic puts up a prayer. Answered. 46 for Nikola Jokic. And the stuff he does like is so easy. Like he makes the right play every single time. When, when everybody's passing the ball, I think that that's the beauty of the game. And uh, I always say assist makes two people happy. A point, a point to just one. We're tied at 127. Jokic doubles. He finds Gordon. Gordon for three. Yes! He's the only player to lead his team in points, rebounds, assists blocks, steals, and field goal percentage in the same season. Good. Rebound on the weak side. Blocked by Jokic and fumble out of bounds. Without Jamal Murray, without Michael Porter Jr. To have 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, 500 assists, to be the first to ever do it. Tate inside block. Oh. Nicole Jokic blocked the ball. Not today, buddy. Since he's back in his native land, now that the Nuggets season is over, if you want to find him, you got to head to the stables. When I was coming back from the from the training, I saw my godfather's car and I say, he's not, <laughs> he's not supposed to be here. Like, And all of a sudden, live music starts happening. And then I saw everybody, everybody is here. And as he got closer and closer and realized what exactly was taking place, just to see the, the emotion, the tears of joy and celebration. Actually, it was really, really emotional for me and I'm, I was really happy. It was uh, a... Well, once in a once in a lifetime. <laughs> Two games in Denver, each team with a win. It's time for game three of the NBA Finals. You still don't believe that you're among the best basketball players in this league? I mean, I don't, I don't believe that. Like Tim Duncan was a selfless superstar. And I, I look at Nicole Jokic in the same vein. I think Nicole Jokic is a truly selfless superstar. I'm just trying to win the game. And that's, that's my main focus. Jokic calling for the ball against Kevin Love. Spins, flips it up and in. He just knows his game. I think he's a player that just knows who he is on that court. You put a small guy on him, he punishes him.
you know, somebody his size, he uses his smarts and wits. It's a tough matchup. 32 points, 20 rebounds, 10 assists. Serbia is a basketball nation, you know, we were quite good at basketball, uh, you know, throughout history. But we never had someone as successful in NBA as, as he is. Jokic throws it inside the Gordon. Oh, another great touch pass. So humble, so s such a such a simple guy, you know, and he comes in in one of the most popular leagues in the world, in all sports. All the time in the world, answers with another three, that's his third. And just dominates for three years, which is incredible. And Denver Nuggets are one win away from their first ever NBA title. A spectacular performance on the road here at Game 4. He's a very good player. He also won one of the weakest MVPs we've ever seen. You have to run your offense through him, and it can only take you so far. Lucas collects it behind the back. Oh! Oh! Are we looking at Jokic as a top five player in the game? A lot of people don't just because he hadn't had success once we got to the postseason. I've never so, seen so, a disconnect like this where a guy monopolizes the MVP, yeah. and yet he floats in and out of my top five at like five. We're likely about to have a three-time MVP that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in the league. <laughs> Jokic backs up for the win! Yes! Oh my God! He's the worst player to win the MVP since oh, Dave gosh. Cowens. No. I'm watching Jokic pass the ball, and I'm watching his guys catch and shoot, and players know where their stats are. Are you sitting here and saying Nikola Jokic is having his numbers padded? You heard what the hell I said. I mean, when you start padding, it's easy, you know, so. It's only three guys that won the MVP since 1990 that wasn't top 10 in scoring. Steve Nash, Jokic, and Dirk Nowinski. What do those guys have in common? I'll let you sit, I'll let it sit there and marinate. You think about it. What you are implying, that the white voters favor white people. You I just not, said that. I you just, yes, you did. I yes, did you did. Not, I did. Yes, not. you did. I stated it's the fact. It's the fact. It's the fact. It's the fact. He's got a, such a unique set of skills. I think they're so unique that there's a limitation to them. I don't think that he can take the Nuggets at, uh, over the top as the best player on a championship team. If this team is healthy, Nicola, can this team win a championship? When you shut your eyes, can you see this team winning a championship? I, I, don't, I don't need to shut my eyes. I know. Yes, the, the answer is yes. Nuggets 9-1 and one at home in these playoffs. But the one loss to these Heat in game two of these finals. That game was just intense and it was physical. It wasn't a pretty basketball game, but that's what winning a championship is about. Nobody had it going. <laughs> and then you look at Jokic's shooting numbers in a closeout game to win the NBA championship where they're throwing everything at him. He goes 12 for 16. The guy's literally on another planet right now. I mean, he led all players in points, rebounds, and assists for an entire playoff. He led everybody that touched the court in every statistical category in the NBA Finals. Points, rebounds, blocks, assists, steals. He led the entire postseason in points, rebounds, and assists as a big. Jokic is a joke, okay? He's a joke. Mm -hmm. He's got an incredible instinct to play the game. Jokic drives down the lane. Layup is good. Nuggets back up by one. Murray falling away. Rebound, Brown, banks it home. Bruce Brown puts the Nuggets back up by one. Jimmy Butler on the drive, gets inside, stops. Stolen by Caldwell Pope. At last, the long wait is over. After 47 years, the Denver Nuggets can finally call themselves NBA champions. This year's Bill Russell Finals MVP goes to Nikola Jokic. We are not winning for ourselves, we are winning for the guy next to us. Everything, everything, everything this, uh, this year was amazing. I'm happy for DJ, I'm happy for Jeff, I'm happy for Ish, Mikey, Jamal, KCP, Bruce, Christian Brown. I don't want to say like little every player, every player on, on this team. When is play? Thursday. I need to go home. <laughs> you know that I, I told that uh, I don't want to stay on parade, but I f***ing want to stay on parade. This is the best. They believe in the fat boy, and it seems like uh, it worked out. Doesn't bet against the fat boy.